Well, this matter is sub judice. It is before the court. This is not a public trial by any means. All that we need to say is that it is the, what is on social media and what has been broadcast in the news is a gross misrepresentation of what transpired here last Thursday. Flagrant lie, blatant lies. And what we've heard so far has been far from the truth. What is the truth? The truth is that there's absolutely no racism from the part of Mr. Donald Kavanaugh, his wife and children. It is absolutely no truth that the family of, the, of Mr. Kavanaugh beat up on anybody. That is, there is absolutely no truth to that. And that if there was any sort of racial statements and slurs, it did not come from the Kavanaugh family. It came from elsewhere. Now, this incident has caused a lot of pain, a lot of heartache to the family. They have been threatened publicly through different social mediums. They have been attacked through their business, Facebook, and elsewhere. There have been protest action without persons stopping and thinking or trying to find out what is the fact. And one understands the George Floyd issue and the Black Lives Matter issue. And I understand the issues of the history in the United States. And just to say that the issues of the United States, we in Grenada do not have or do not share some of the peculiarities of the history of the United States. Now, the officer who came on the scene last Thursday carried out and carried himself in a very professional manner and uh, the Royal Grenada Police Force have investigated the matter from day one. So there is no systemic racism or favoritism within the ranks of the Royal Grenada Police Force with regards to this matter. I have done many cases in the past with regards to families and neighbors' disputes over dogs. And I have never seen any one of these matters make headlines or be a newsworthy item. And I don't think this one, frankly, is any difference. If we live in a multiracial, multi multi-ethnic society, it cannot be that every time there is a dispute or a difference or a confrontation between a black person and a Caucasian person that the issue has to be about racism. And I ask persons to deliberate and to think and to hear both sides of the story and do not come to conclusions. Let the matter be heard in the court. I ask also that persons will respect the Kavanaugh family and cease the abuse, the verbal abuse on social media and elsewhere. I tell you one thing, the first step in justice is the truth. Without truth, justice rings hollow. 